this sport of still water or lake fly fishing has evolved. From the long, powerful, well-built graphite fly rods to the innovation of specific designed sinking lines with specific sinking rates and oversized large tapered floating lines to push and lay over extra bulked up presentations of strike indicators with swivels and tippet rings and extra long leader configurations. The entomology based presentations. I was fortunate enough this fall to meet up with Phil Rowley, Ryan Ermit, Mike Green, and Trevor Tatarchuk. We handpicked four premium still waters that we were going to target over four days in the fall. And well, I had to bring along a couple extra cameras to document the days of this trip. I hope you enjoy. This is called Still. I feel like I've been talking to Brent and Phil about doing something like this for, I don't know, gotta be 18, 24 months. It's been a long time coming. We were based out of Williams Lake. We had a wonderful bed and breakfast. We were driving an hour or an hour and a half to all these destinations. It's a great central hub to do these kind of trips. The Williams Lake house, boy, what could I say about that? Um, really nice place, uh, fantastic owner, very accommodating, had everything we needed. Nice little Airbnb, perfect for day trips right in the heart of the caribou. You're a half hour to an hour away from quality still waters. rising in the weeds about nine, 10 feet. And I knew right away if I tossed my scud in there between two lily pads, I seen it coming. Indy dropped instantly and the fish had one plan and that was to tangle right into the lily pads. Ended up horsing it, chased him down. We're able to get him free. Had a sick release shot. Good to top that one off. Great day on the lake, many bent rods, um, capped off the day um, with a great dinner and uh, and the boys back home. Okay, I see him throw one in there about the size, <laughs> he knows which one he's going to take out. Smarty. Just a great time in the house, tying flies, drinking beers, 
uh, beers, fly tying, jokes, I mean, just ribbing each other, lots of laughs. I don't know, it's cold, a little bit of wind. Shake, shake, shake. I don't, I don't know, oh, oh, is that it? Yeah, we'll leave the pressure on these guys because they have to perform. Don't look, Phil. How can I look, you fool? Okay. There we go. And the winner is... Let's show the camera. I hope you roll big because I've got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't looked, I haven't looked yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rappers yeah. happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a good that's deal. That's what you enjoy, Phil. I haven't looked yet. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. That's where we're going. That's that's awesome. Good. Cheers, boys. I'll cheers to that one. Cheers. So this is one of my favorite dragon fly patterns uh, that I like to tie and fish off. And, um, it's a very easy tie um, and it has a lot of movement in the water. Um, you'll see the materials that I use, um, they breathe well in the water um, and when it gets wet it looks greasy as hell um, and I love it. It's, uh, you'll have to check it out. Gatekeeper. Someone's got to do it. What are your thoughts about this morning's or today's events, Mike? It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Good conditions, low winds, sun, hungry fish. Cruising the shallows reports. There's sun up above that. Somewhere, yeah. You guys ready to do this? We're ready to do this. What's the morning plan first? Coffees. I think we all need coffees. Uh, Jasper Brewing stepped up with the beers and we're going to use a coffee this morning. Uh, Coffee, maybe an egg sandwich or something. Oh, like it. Day two, we had another little pick here at a little lake of one of my favorites. Um, big fat Fraser Valleys, prawnmies were hatching, blobs were working, leeches were working. Scuds, damsels, blobs, balance leeches, all kinds of things. Just an incredible experience.
design here, a popular chronomet of mine. Got a nice two-tone blend going, green, red butt with an ASB sections with some amber rib, white head, sure sticks out in the tannin lakes. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you'll notice when you see this, I stole your moose tenderloin, so uh, <laughs> I think uh, I, you, you get it. Worse than that. Worse it. Thanks, dude. No problem, buddy. Another day? Watch out for domesticated deer. <laughs> They're out there. We got to fish a lake I'd fished before in the past, and then three others that I'd never fished, including one I'd heard very good things about, and finally got to fish. Are you new? <laughs> Am I new? <laughs> So we're fishing here today? Is that the yeah, there's actually a nice drop right there in between the reeds. Day three, another popular lake, a little south of the puddle. Good one. Unfortunately, no bugs were hatching, but we had some excellent fish. A lot of bent rods, indie drops. Fantastic day, um, pretty popular lake. Caught the biggest fish uh, of the trip for me uh, that day on a dub dragon that I like to, to tie and fish often um, on a type four. Um, it was caught in about four foot of water uh, up against the lily pads. Um, you know, I would say, you know, an hour and a half I would be tops. Thank you.
A one in a million shot. <laughs> Come home, girl. Very nice. Like it was meant to be. This fly here, uh, it's my version, uh, Landon Mare's mini leech, crossed with a little Paul Kipe squirrel tail leech. Gold holographic tensile body. I uh, used the squirrel, uh, squirrel fur as a dub in the collar and uh, the two-tone tungsten beads from Canadian Lamb. I'm a huge fan of those and just a great opportunity. I have Brent filming, filming the tie-in and yeah, so there it is. So day four, uh, the last lake of the trip. Uh, what an adventure that was. This is uh, a pretty good poke uh, out into the mountainside. And then the last day, the final day, we topped it off with an absolute stunner of a lake in the caribou here. Cap it all off with just an incredible day with the opportunity to sight fish and just huge panasks and horsefly rainbows. Extensive shoals, big fish, not too many hookups though. Um, and it got a lot, uh, pretty interesting uh, uh, with the last little bit into the lake, so.
soon again. <laughs> I got to tie one of my new creations, uh, the rinse and repeat. It's a back swimmer pattern uh, that everybody wanted to see.